Hello and welcome to a new episode of Bahraini Dishes Cooking Show. My name is Chef Ali Youssef and today I'll be cooking for you a Bahraini mutton biryani. Very delicious, very nice, very authentic. Let me tell you what we need to cook that one. We have the whole spices as usual, uh, cloves, cardamom, cinnamon, black pepper and bay leaves. And I got rose water with uh, saffron soaked in there. So we have Bill mini syrup of that. I've got salt, I've got curry leaves, I've got onions, I've got garlic and ginger paste, and I got uh, mutton there. Those I'll tell you about it later because I want to get you confused now. I won't get you confused. And of course, I got sucked the uh, uh, rice. Let me put it that on. That will have it three quarter cooked, not fully cooked because we use it in the end. Um, this pan is going to start frying the onion. Let me tell you, um, the biryanis are many different biryanis uh, around the world. Um, we've got Hyderabadi, um, Hyderabadi, and we've got Bahraini, we've got the Indian, we've got the Pakistani, too many different. And also it has also different uh, recipe actually. Now I'm going to add the whole spices in there. I'm going to add it there, why? Get the uh, flavor out of it. I like to put it always in the beginning actually. Um, followed by, I'm going to add the paste. That garlic and ginger paste, uh, we go there and we mix it very well. Then, um, let me tell you about the other recipes. In the other recipes, it has to be marinated overnight or eight hours. But in Bahraini uh, biryani, we don't uh, we don't usually marinate the meat overnight or eight hours. We just do it right there, right away. Um, I'm talking about the biryani, and uh, also um, the other uh, the other cuisines they use uh, uh, yogurt with biryani. I don't. Actually, we don't. Um, going to add the curry leaves. This is some, something optional as well. No, it's not necessary to put this if you don't have it. The cu curry powder is it's not necessary if you don't have it. You can use the Kashmiri powder either or the curry powder. Leave it there until the onion gets goldish, then we add the meat. In between, let me, let, let me show you how to cook, or uh, how to prepare uh, daku sauce, which is goes with boozy, with matchbus, with biryani. It gives you a nice flavor to eat your food with, or your main dish with. Uh, it's a side dish. Let, let me give me give me five minutes. Let me prepare and get back to you shortly. Welcome back, and we are ready. We have garlic, we have tomato paste, we have tomatoes, uh, fresh tomatoes diced. Start with um, we saute the garlic. All right. 
thin. I'm going to add some black pepper on it. And then some salt. Then going to add the tomato paste. Could be two or three tablespoons or maybe small. Small whole can. Mix it. Mm. It smells, smells good. Then we add tomatoes. Going to add more salt. I'll be at least two tablespoons of salt. Then, if you want to add a bit more flavor of uh, the course, we don't need this, this is not necessary, but I'm going to add it to the recipe. Why? Because you need it to get more stronger flavor. And also it's an option, if you want to make it spicy, you can add um, also red chili sauce or chili powder. We'll leave it there. I'm going to add a little bit of water. Let it cook. Not a lot of water, right? And then we're going to add the meat. Don't be confused to the... <laughs> To, this, to the uh, onions here, because it's almost done already. It's actually, it's, um, some of the other recipes are easier than what I'm doing now. Why? Because uh, when you uh, marinate uh, the meat overnight, it's almost, it's gonna be quite cooked. Uh, already out, out of the marination and once you put it in the pan a little bit of cooking because you know, remember you're gonna put another time to keep it um, the end of the recipe of the cooking you will add the rice and you will keep it also for another 30 minutes which is gonna long, take a longer longer time right we'll leave it for that because everything is busy here I got my meat is here cooking and I'm just gonna caramelize, I mean, uh, brown on from the top. And then I'm going to add a little bit of water. Actually now, it's about to add the water now, right? Got to add water there. Okay, and, and we'll keep adding water every time the water gets dry because you need to get the meat very tender. And then from there, we will add the other spices and we go, we continue. We'll come back till it gets really tender and the rice, it will be almost uh, done actually for a three quarter cook. And this is going to be cooking for at least for 20 minutes. It takes less than that, but the longer it goes, the more tests you can get, right? And we'll get back to you shortly. Welcome back. Now the, our rice is ready. It's being cooked three quarters, actually. Uh, we don't need to cook it more than, than that, because we need little chance for later, right? Keep it aside. Then we can play with it later. Now, 
And now I'm going to make, see, that's why I got said I won't get you confused. Now I have the onion. I'm going to make it crispy by adding uh, cornstarch. You can add any uh, flour actually there. Um, need to make it uh, crispy that we're going to use later for garnish. Now, of course, I have the oil is very hot in there. Put it there. And you see our tacos looks beautiful, very nice. Can't wait to taste it later on. And the meat, hmm, almost there. We're almost there, we just need to caramelize the, or saute the uh, onions, so we can put it on the side. Also, it's another option if you wanna add nuts in there or not, um, it depends on your option if you like it or no. If you want, you can keep. If not, then you don't put. Right, I'm going to clean up the mess out of the meat because as you see in the top, there's some stuff, uh, some stuff here you don't really need. You're gonna take it off. So all these uh, fats have taken out and fats, dirt out of the meat, it's all up. Close it back again, let it go. Now, we go back to this before it gets burned. Make sure you don't burn it, yeah? <laughs> if you burn it, then you need to cut another one and make it. No problem. If you burn it, no problem. Put it on the side and make a, a French onion soup out of it. Now you see it, it's ready to go. I'll take it off the pan. See how beautiful it is. Just put it here. I have put tissue there to get the oil out of it. Not wasting any any leaf <laughs> or any skin of onions, right? Leave that there. there. Checking on the meat, how it is. Mm. We're still gonna leave it there. Close it until the water gets dry and then, well, I'm going to need a bit of time with the meat to get it really tender. Uh, we'll give at least 15 to 20 minutes and then we'll get back to you shortly to continue the rest of it. Welcome back and we are back with our biryani lahan. Um, mm, that smells good. It might smell better in a bit. Uh, see, we got just a little bit of water left in there. Now we're going to add the spices. Look how beautiful the meat is. And it looks tender, you don't even have to touch it. Right, let's do this. Follow me. Okay, just pay attention. And let's go with turmeric powder. And that's, there was half tablespoon. And this is actually special made uh, biryani mix, right? Uh, you can have it re ready made and from any uh, shop, um, you can buy it. That was uh, one tablespoon. Red chili powder, 
half tablespoon, right? The most important is Bahrain Ibzar. Bahrain Ibzar, half tablespoon. Then our famous Bahraini um, cumin and coriander powder, half a spoon each, and also garlic. Well, most of us love garlic. Doesn't matter how many spoon, but I added half. Uh, you can add one. You can add two, depends on how much you like. Right? This is our spices mixing it. Right. Gently mix them, followed by don't forget your salt. Even if you forget, no problem. You, salt always can be added later. Uh, that was three tablespoons. It should be enough. Right? Mm, this smells good, actually. Right, now I'm going to add the rice in there. Right. Slowly. On top. Of it. Now you know why the, the rice is three quarters being cooked because it's going to stay there for at least 20 minutes. We'll leave it there for 20 minutes before we go for break. Let me add rose water and saffron. This rose and saffron water, um, just we put not a lot, just this way or any shape could be, just to give it flavor and color. Leave it there in very low heat um, until it gets smoked, and then we get back to you shortly. Welcome back, and we are here in the final moments of our biryani. As I said, smoke. When smoke means it's ready, it's dried, and uh, look at it. it smells good. Uh, biryani, you have to do it from the bottom to the top. Dig it from the bottom to the top. But I'm not going to do this. Why? Because I'm going to present it in a small plate for now, not a big tray. If you're going for a big tray, then you go from all the way from the bottom to the top. Now, I will put a little bit of white rice. This is how you present your biryani. And why I, I said it earlier from the bottom to the top, because when you use big tray, has to look different than what it is now. And as I said, it has different color when it comes to different cuisines. Gives you another look of the, than the other biryanis. Right, and we put the, remember the, our crispy onion. Here's our biryani, it's dead ready. And then forgot our dachus. Remember we made this earlier? It goes very well with it. A beautiful color as well, I like it. Up to here we have reached our, the end of our today's episode. We had the delicious Bahraini, Bariani laham with dachos 
And again, tomorrow we'll see you again with another delicious dish of our Bahraini dishes. See you tomorrow and goodbye.